What's up, YouTube? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when I drop another video. Let's get straight into the video. So 6ix9ine basically just back, you know, trolling again. So he ended up, you know, going on IG and he had posted some of him, you know, watching Suge Knight. He telling about, you know, how Snoop Dogg, you know, was a snitch and, you know, he ratted too. So um, I guess he was just trying to portray like, you know, he not the only snitch in the game. Y'all y'all respect, you know, Snoop Dogg. And, you know, he basically just did the same thing to get out of, um, you know, a certain situation. And then he posted something else on IG. He ended up saying, should I just tell you guys what rappers snitch, yes or no? Because they told me everything when I started. So he's saying it's a lot of rappers that we don't know about, you know, that snitch too. So he basically just trying to show like he not the only one who's snitching. And, you know, it's a lot of rappers who snitch, you know, some of them not known that somebody, you know, people just don't care. But with him, it's, it's kind of different because, you know, he was trolling, he was out there. So a lot of people, you know, look at him different. And so I didn't expect this, but, you know, Snoop Dogg ended up responding. I guess a lot of people was hitting him, you know, about the situation. And in the whole video, he really didn't say too much. He was just saying, like, at first he didn't have no time, but now he got time. And then he just said, he started saying a little crazy stuff. But basically just some old head stuff. It really didn't mean anything. But then in the comment section, a lot of people were saying like, you know, but you still didn't say nothing about the paperwork. And then, you know, 6 9 had said the same thing at the bottom. Another thing I had saw was he started, you know, Snoop Dogg had post, started posting a lot afterwards. And he started posting stuff like, you know, he will, he well known, you know, internationally and respected. And then he started posting like his albums, his classic albums and stuff like that. I guess to get people to know like, you know, what all he accomplished and why he respected. But a lot of people still looking for the paperwork and, you know, for him to defend himself like he didn't snitch. But um, I don't know, because a lot of people did say, like, you know, Snoop Dogg was, wasn't really no street dude, you know, when it came down to it. In the comment section below, y'all let me know if y'all think, you know, Snoop is really getting a Snoop Dogg or y'all think, you know, 6 9 right about this whole situation or everybody snitching on him. But, you know, a lot of rappers do snitch. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I greatly appreciate y'all watching the ads to the end. And I'll see you in the next video. And do those kind of crimes. And that'll come to prison. One of the reasons that nigga Snoop. Oh, Snoop would never come. I mean, Snoop was on, you know, we'd be the murder trial for him, but then he was on probation. Then he got caught with two ounces of marijuana. Then he got caught with guns. And each time, it's nothing. They're not going to violate him. Because for the street guys, street guys know what I'm talking about. There's no puzzle. I mean, if you get a guy that constantly getting in trouble and never going to come to prison, that's because he's a phony. He's a rat. A snitch. Yeah. You know. And they more important to the police on the streets than in here because they let them know what's going on. They might say they sold by telling them three or four or five other guys. You know, I'm from Compton and I'm uh, right